Waiting for it live. Yes, we're live. We're live. Excellent. Good stuff. Right. So welcome back. And day number 12. Wow. So today is all about the OTO, right? So um, uh, just going to go through this sort of thing, blah, 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 blah. Right. So when we start off, we have a lower end offer, right? So that's kind of already broken down the barriers for people to go ahead and buy the next thing. Um, They've already pulled out their credit cards, they've put in their contact details, hit the button, etc. So in the head, they've already said yes about three or four times, which means when we get to present them with another offer, they're already in the yes mode, right? So, um, and of course, plus they only have to just click one button and it will just automatically buy for them. So they don't have to go through that process again. So that's a great reason why we get so many good hits on the OTO1 and the OTO2 when people come through the funnels, right? So now the first OTO really should be where we go deeper into the first product, right? So if, we, if we're if we using a digital product, for example, and we, we have like an hour's training and we, we just spent a few minutes on each part of that framework, then now is the time to go deeper. This is where we build it out a little bit more. So realistically, you could be looking at doing maybe six modules. And when it comes to creating the actual modules itself, don't think you've got to spend all your time doing the whole six modules to start with or however modules you want to, because you can drip feed them. If you remember back to the membership um, video that I did yesterday, if you remember that, then you can see, you can drip them out. You can set either to be released on um, each day or each week or date based as well. So if you're setting something up and you're doing something launching on a specific date, then you get everybody coming in. You can create a wait list for it. If you want to do that way, then you can drip it out as it goes. Or if you want it to be totally um, kind of like date dependent on when they joined, then you can decide when that drip comes out and of course you're always going to make sure that you email your buyers to let them know the new the new content is um, around so that helps you with email deliverability um, going forward for your autoresponder but also as well it gets people used to looking out for your emails as well so if you've got future products or future services you want to sell them then or offer to them at a later date they're going to be used to seeing your name in their inbox so they're more likely to get better open rates on that one um, and as we said, um, uh, la, 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 la. the reason, I mean, I've just literally just finished watching the training there and Russell was saying the reason why he, he sets out like six modules and does it week by week by week is that a lot of times like digital products and that or the things that he does, he has like a 30 days money back guarantee and the six weeks gets past that refund period, right? So that's, that's kind of clever, right? So... Um, I put the one pager in there for you so you can see that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through that one pager. Now, hopefully, uh, hopefully this works. And I, sh I should still be on the screen, but I'm not sure if I am. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I put, the, put that on there. But let's put this over here so you guys can see it. And just make that a bit bigger so everybody can see it. Okay, right. So... Again, watch this video, it's only 10 minutes long, and, and we talk about like, you've got your frag, flagship framework which you're selling for a low end, and again, we're talking about digital products here. When it comes to physical products, uh, you've got to think of, um, what was in my notes on the physical products? Hang on, I did have it here, I'm pretty sure I did it there. Um, yeah, if it's a physical product, then you think, what else could someone need? What would be, um, a good add-on what would help them get results faster that would be a good idea or something you know to make it even better that sort of thing that would be your OTO one but in digital space then we're talking this we've got the flag for ship framework here and then you're going to put that into an OTO and you're going to make it into modules so that bit this bit here you're going to flesh that out and that becomes module one that gets sent out the first week then over to the second part, which is again, you're just taking this from here, second part, now you're gonna make that obviously go deeper. And it's almost like um, when I've done it before, I've done screen shares or, you know, if you're, if you're doing something else and you record your video doing something, you know, if it's a, that's what you need to do, whatever it is, however you decide to deliver on this OTO, then 
you know find what works for you and you can kind of see some examples here um, again this this is covered all under the one pager here what are the bonuses products you could you create to increase the perceived value of the course or the masterclass if you like which is your OTO so if you think what how Russell set out the perfect webinar scripts which is his um, this part the flag for, flagship framework that the do-it-yourself version there was all these extra bonuses that he put in there right so now you can stick values on this now try and be realistic with the values I try to be as as much as I can personally and again when it comes to like the OTO the same thing again so this is what they're getting six hours of training so if you think an hour on each one six hours of training yep session this session that session that and all that sort of good stuff um, and you could build that out into one two three four five six if you want and note them all out and then more stuff hacks funnels secrets all this good stuff that you put together for that and and one your OTO page again nice big green button to click saying yes little red button for saying no right go stop just think of that psychology right <laughs> but it's really cool because we can get to put in all the details that we want to here and then again save to your account sometimes I find it best to actually save it on my computer separately it's just that I've got it so if anything ever happens to this one page or if it disappears then um, or it doesn't save for any reason because I know some people have had problems with that then at least you've got it still as well so that is how I would do that and that is how I would put it all together and hopefully that will work it so that's kind of like your homework to get done um, today or over the weekend try and get see if you can get one of the modules whoa I don't know why I did that it just went super hyper big on me uh, try try and get one of these modules complete throw it into your membership so it's there ready to go because obviously when it comes to better putting this thing together and selling we don't really need to have all six modules done right so don't put too much pressure on yourself just focus on that first one to start with and again if it's a physical product then of course you just got to research and find out what is going to sell well with it and if you want a kind of like a cheat code or a, an easy way to do it go and search for what your product is on Amazon and then scroll all the way down and see what other people have also bought with right and that will give you an idea for OTOs so hopefully that finds you well um, looking forward to pumping through with this with you guys and we'll speak again real soon